And on to some news that just coming in a day after French President Emmanuel Macron's uh, European army swipe, uh, U.S. President Trump has hit back at him. In a barrage of tweets, U.S. President Donald Trump has lashed out at Macron. Trump targeted the French wines, saying that U.S. wines are better. Trump said that France makes it very hard for us to sell wines due to big tariffs. Earlier, he even used a World War taunt saying that the French were still learning German in Paris before the U.S. came along, suggesting that U.S. was Europe's savior. Trump also said that Macron suffers due to a very low approval rating in France at 26 percentage and an unemployment rate of almost 10 percentage. In another tweet, Trump mocked Macron saying that it's time to make France great again. In his latest tweet, Trump even made a typo, tweeting the word cemetery wrong, defending ditching the cemetery visit, a move that he was trolled for. And now we have uh, Elena Casas Montanez, uh, we own correspondent, uh, joining us live from the French capital, Paris. Uh, Elena, thank you so much for taking time out. I wanted to ask you, right off the bat, there is a debate on nationalism. And, uh, you know, and that's how Trump is hitting back at Macron, because Macron made his displeasure for nationalism very clear. He does seem to have been enraged, at least partly, by Macron's speech on Sunday at the World War I armistice anniversary, which was aimed at Trump, among other leaders. Macron said that patriotism was the opposite of nationalism and that the demons of the past were resurfacing, in front, of course, of a U.S. president who has described himself as a nationalist. So it's clear that Macron convened those leaders together not just to remember history, but to make a clear point that he believes the international rules-based order is now in danger and he believes that the US president is one of the people endangering it. Trump though does also seem to have been provoked by a misunderstanding of something that Macron said last week. His tweets about Macron wanting a European army to, to defend against the US is based on something that Macron never said but that was misreported by a number of American news outlets including Fox News which is of course what Trump watches. Uh, Macron last week said that the European Union did need to to build its defence capacity and he said separately that it needed to build its capacity to defend against cyber attacks by malicious actors in the US, Russia and China. But he never said that the US was a military threat to Europe, which was what he was inaccurately reported as saying by American media and which right. is one of the things that seems to have so enraged Donald Trump. Right, Alina, also uh, this entire thing began with Macron's pitch for an army for the European Union. That certainly didn't go down well with Trump. Things have been boiling up on that front ever since. And then you've seen this barrage of attacks from, from Donald Trump, a beat uh, on the wine tariffs uh, for US wines in France. And then, of course, uh, uh, the talk of uh, how the army is not the right way to go for the European Union. So the joint army proposition is a long-standing promise of Macron's. It was a campaign promise last year, and he certainly sees it, as he said to Donald Trump when they met here in Paris on Saturday, uh, as a way of reducing Europe's military dependence on the U.S. and of reducing the U.S.'s own spending in NATO, which is something that Trump has complained about also a great deal, of course, how he believes that European nations aren't contributing sufficient spending to their own defense, and as a result, he thinks that the U.S. is contributing unfair amounts of money. So uh, Macron sees a more European military defence strategy as part of a way of reducing that dependence on the US and he certainly tried to couch that in language that would please the US president when they discussed that on Saturday and when Macron explained Trump's face essentially that he seemed to have misunderstood those comments that he gave about joint defence uh, in a French radio interview last week. Elena Casas Montanez joining us live from Paris with that latest breaking news update. Uh, thank you, Elena, for joining us.